Mars, Antares, The Sting, and more. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plaw Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We're here to help you find your way around the sky tonight. As summer starts heading to fall, the summer stars start fading away. But we have a week or two to take in my favorite constellation of summer, Scorpius the Scorpion, with its flickering red heart star and two stinger stars. Plus, the red planet Mars will be hanging with the scorpion. And we have a bonus planet for you to look for. Should we tell them which one? No, no, let's build up the suspense. Ah, my thoughts exactly. To the stars. Okay, we have our sky set to any night this week at 9.30 p.m. facing south. To find the scorpion, look just above the horizon for stars that form a fish hook shape. It's a little tougher to see the distinct outline of the constellation since there are two visiting planets among the normal stars of the scorpion. But be patient. We'll get to those soon enough. It may be tough to imagine these stars as a scuttling scorpion, but hopefully the picture helps. When I look for Scorpius, the first thing I notice is the really red, really twinkly star at the heart of the scorpion. This star is called Antares. If we zoom in on Antares with a large telescope, we find that it is not just one star, but two orbiting each other. The larger one is the red star we see with the naked eye. The smaller is of a contrasting color, and most people think it looks green, but you'll need a big telescope to see it. And that's because the main star, Antares, is gigantic and dazzlingly bright. If we put Antares next to the sun, this is what they look like. Yikes! The brightest star-like object in Scorpius right now isn't a star. It's the planet Mars, and you can see it just above the Scorpion's heart star, above Antares this week. The word Antares means rival of Mars, but this week, Antares is no match for Mars when it comes to brightness. The red planet will look about twice as bright as the red star. And you'll notice one other difference. While Antares will twinkle, Mars's light will be much more steady. This is a general rule. Stars twinkle, planets don't. As much. Now that we've investigated the heart of the scorpion, how about his tail? At the end of the fish hook shape, look for two stars that are very close together. These are the stars Shaula and Lasath, and together they are known as the Sting. Makes sense. Although these two stars look close together, they are separated by trillions and trillions of miles. Lasath, the dimmer of the pair, is about 580 light years from Earth. The distance to Shaula, however, is unknown. Some astronomers found it to be 700 light years away, and others found it to be only 365 light years away. Either way, the Stinger stars only look like they're close together. I've also heard them called the cat's eyes since they are so distinct. And while you're in the area, two open clusters lie nearby for you to discover with only a pair of binoculars. They're called M6 and M7. And finally, we will reveal our mystery guest planet for today's show. The anticipation has been killing me. Uh-huh. And when you look above Antares and above Mars, you'll see another bright, steady light. So steady, it must be a planet. But which one? Let's pretend we're focusing a telescope and getting a clearer look. This is the sixth planet from the sun, mm -hmm. the second largest planet in the solar system, mm -hmm. keeper of at least 62 moons, gorgeous rings, and well, I think you figured it out. This is Saturn. And if you have not seen it through a telescope, make it your mission to do so this month. Check with your local astronomy club, planetarium, or science center and ask, hey, are you guys viewing Saturn this season? And make an appointment to see it. It is truly breathtaking, and it's all there when you keep looking, looking up. up.